Welcome back to another video. We're reviewing Big Brother Season 26 episodes. I believe this is 19, 20, and 21. I haven't reviewed since the last eviction, so actually a week ago today. <laughs> but I didn't review Sunday because you guys know I don't review the Sunday review. I wait till Wednesday. Now, I didn't review Wednesday because it was a two-hour episode, and it ended so late. Y'all know, like... I want to I wanna be in and out with these, you know, I got to film it, edit it, review it, like all that, it's like, it's a long process, and I just re prefer it to be over in one hour starting at eight, where I live. But anyway, so, from Sunday's episode, T-Court won HOH, the HOH was really, uh, I, I personally thought it was really lackluster, like, <laughs> people were just eliminating themselves like that, and it seemed like a lot of them were just guessing on, like, I feel like T-Core guessed to win, like, but congratulations to her, I'm pretty sure everyone was happy when she won, like, a lot of the fans of the show, like myself, we were happy to see T-Core win, but the, the, <laughs> the HOH wasn't very good, so it's like, it's like one of those HOHs where it's like, oh yeah, they won, but it's like, we don't consider that, like, a Count Beast's, uh, challenge, you know, so she decides to nominate. <laughs> Remember we got the 6th Avenue Alliance? She actually nominates Tucker, who is like the leader of the 6th Avenue Alliance. He's like the comp beast. He's the one that would never put up T-Core. He's riding for that alliance the most. He, like, but she decides to nominate him as a pawn. I'm not going to jump ahead. I'm not going to jump. Well, yes, I will. We all know Tucker went home. This season, so the veto's been used every single, every single week. And I feel like whenever you decide to go up as a pawn or you're told you're a pawn you go home it's happened every single week so i just want to put that out there i feel like t core's reign as hoh was so we've seen some bad hoh reigns this season i feel like this is one of the worst maybe the worst hoh reign because tucker would have never put t core on the block he would have never he was riding for that frenzy's alliance he was riding for that alliance i think he would have took her to the final four he was riding for T-Core, Kimo, and of course Rubina. And I mean, he liked Angela a lot too. I feel like that would have been his final five. I don't know where he would have, you know, went. But, but let me get back to it. So, Vito. So the Vito, we saw Cam win. And he won fair and square. It was nice to see a new winner of the Vito, or a new winner in general of this whole season. Uh, it was a prize and punishment challenge. Uh, Angela... <laughs> Okay, can I just say, Angela's punishment was probably the worst punishment I've seen. I've seen some bad punishments on this show, but that looked torturous. And I just, I always think, you know, I always, you always want to, like, imagine yourself doing this. Imagine yourself doing this challenge. Imagine yourself doing this punishment. I salute Angela, because she finished. So, like, I feel like if I ever went on the show, I would have to finish it now. But, like, I feel like if that was me, I'd probably be like, nah, I cannot finish this. There's no way. I'm just going to have to not compete in HOH. But I feel like that, then you get sports, poor sportsmanship, and the fans don't like you, and the house girls don't like I don't know. But it was a tough, tough challenge. I really salute her for finishing that. Angela is bat crap crazy, though. I'm just going to put that out there. Uh, Quinn, oh no, Quinn, I'm sorry, Joe got solitary confinement in there with Matt, and, um, uh, if you guys don't watch the live feeds or not, not into, like, the Twitter verse, or the X verse, I guess, Joseph used the solitary time to, I don't want to say it on camera, but you guys know, like, I just want y'all to know, like, what he was doing in there, that's crazy, but I mean, like, you can't blame him, because, but, but the thing is, you can't blame him, but then the fact that he told everybody in the house, why would you tell everybody, if that's the case, then you can just do it in the regular bathroom, I don't know, uh, who else was it, who else got a punishment, someone else, oh, Tucker, of course, Tucker got a punishment, he gave the $5,000 to T-Core, and this is something that came up a lot throughout the week, so his punishment, he had to read some books, he wore a costume, which, by the way, check out, I forgot the name of their YouTube channel, but they just did a YouTube video on how the Week 5 HOH is cursed. And we saw it play out tonight. It's crazy how we just saw this. But, anyway, so, Cam won HOH. Oh, by the way, Tikor nominated Cam, Tucker, and Mackenzie. She didn't want to nominate Leah because she feels like she has a good relationship with Leah. I don't know. Personally, she should have nominated Leah. When Angela completed her punishment, she pretty much went crazy. Like, she's back crap crazy, as we all know. And, like, this week is where we actually started to dislike Angela. 
she started to turn on Tucker and she was just like, so we need to get Tucker out telling people this and it was just insane. Like, I was like, what in the world am I watching? It got back to Tucker via Quinn. I don't like Quinn more. <laughs> I, I really, I don't know, guys. I was rooting for Tucker. Like, of course, my person I'm rooting for changes a lot. Like, Rubina was my favorite on episode one and two, but she hasn't done much. So, like, do I want to see her win? Not really. But also, don't really want Chelsea to win because I feel like she's like, Brooklyn got all the, she got hit hard with, oh, y'all, you're running the house. She wasn't. Chelsea is, though. Like, Chelsea is doing it all. Like they said, like, Chelsea was the mastermind. Brooklyn was just the voice. Like, so I kind of like, of course, you. I always want to root for an underdog. And I feel like Chelsea's just a head honcho for a long time, even when she was in danger. But she do win AI. I respect her. I like her. But I just, I don't know. Like, I want to see it. Maybe Joseph? Joseph's cool. He seems all right. I don't know. I don't know. Cam's all right, too. I like Cam. He's cool. He's just boring as hell. When Cam won the veto and he decided to take himself off, there was a big uh, thing about whether t -Core should put up Leah or Angela. Angela went crazy, tried to get Tucker out. Tucker confronted Angela. They did a big scene. They cried, yada, yada. t -Core decided to put up Angela. A lot of her alliance in 6th Avenue were upset about that, mainly Tucker. Tucker was super upset, and that's where we get to tonight's episode. We start off by, like, who was the target? Because no one knew who the target was going into this. Apparently, 6th Avenue was a little bit upset with T-Core. T-Core, I don't know why she decided to... So now, you're HOH, and two of your allies are on the block. Now, I know she didn't really care about Angela, but Tucker would have never put her up. So, you want to give him the easiest route to... We'll get to it. After Cam used the veto, Tucker walks away pissed. Angela says, can I talk to everybody? And Angela just decides to throw Tucker under the bus. And she outed the 6th Avenue Alliance. And she, she just outed everything. And it's just like, Angela is actually crazy. Angela walked up on this alliance. There was five other people in it. Well, four other people in it, plus Tucker. And she just blamed it all in that sit down on Tucker. And she didn't name any of the names or anything. But my thing is, like, why would... I don't know. It was just... I was really heavy rooting for Tucker at this moment, so I might be a little bit biased. But Angela's just crazy. She is insane. So Rubina talks to Tucker, and she, he's like, are you mad at T-Core? He says yes. He's really throwing a fit, a temper tantrum, saying, like, I gave her $5,000. I volunteered to be a pomper. Everything he was saying was true. But then Rubina's like, well, I don't know if this was on the episode, but she's like, you know, you kind of did this last week when you put up Chelsea. <laughs> yeah. Tucker was just way too dramatic but then Rubina started being dramatic like is this real is this real I don't know but it's like it is Rubina you're being paranoid I don't blame her cuz I'm not in the big brother house and I can only imagine how that is staying inside of a house with the same people only seeing the same faces for that long so I I, I do understand I guess I don't understand if that makes sense I understand that I don't understand Next, we get into the meat and potatoes of this whole episode, which is Chelsea being her mastermind that she is. She's the best player in the whole house, mentally. And she, well, actually now, well, Mackenzie's really good, too. Mackenzie's really good. So, but, and Mackenzie's doing all this without no alliance. But anyway, Chelsea decides to go on a campaign trail to get Tucker out. And she did it really smart. She did a great job with this. Like, applaud. She probably deserved Chelsea is a front runner, runner to win, and T-Core is obsessed with Chelsea. Like, T-Core loves Chelsea so much. Chelsea is the greatest player right now, in the house now. She really is. She's she's great. Uh, I feel like she's head honcho. <laughs> Watch she win head, head of household. Watch it happen. And if she wins, if Chelsea wins, I hope she puts up T-Core so that T-Core can just be like, what? Oh, my God. Because, like, she's just so obsessed with T-Core. Or, I mean, t is so obsessed with Chelsea. But anyway, Chelsea was really smart with it. How she went on her campaign trail, she got pretty much whoever gets off the block, which is going to be Mackenzie or Angela, she really hopes that it's Mackenzie. Then she has Leah, Quinn, and Cam. Of course, Quinn was just super extra. It's just uh, oh, too much. We get to the AI arena. It's a 10-piece puzzle. You put the puzzle together, it has a 10 number. 10 digit number I think I think it was 10 digits and there's a couple blocks and you have to find which one has the correct number put it inside the spot and then hit the button 
I was watching this, and before they started, Tucker looked like he was like so antsy, like ready to go. And they went out, and I just saw Mackenzie moving and getting this done. And Tucker just seemed so slow and just not. Then his puzzle looked different than Mackenzie's, but even before I noticed that his puzzle looked different, he just did not seem like he knew what he was doing. He did not seem like his head was in the game. It, it was just not good. It was tough to watch. And I don't even think I looked at Angela once. But Mackenzie got it. She, she did it fast. She got it, and um, Tucker just looked defeated. They go into the house. The cheers were mid when they announced that Mackenzie won. Uh, Tucker just looked defeated. Uh... Angela immediately started campaigning annoyingly. Just annoying how she is is annoying. Not It's not annoying that she campaigned, but a, she's annoying. And remember, I was heavy rooting for Tucker, so I'm a little biased. Tucker, he just looked defeated. He did a little bit of campaigning. Then everyone decided to go into a room, which was weird. And then, like, it looked like Tucker and Mackenzie were last to go in. But then we saw that actually Tucker and Angela didn't go in. But I was like, this is weird, so y'all want to just vote the same, but they didn't. So, speeches, Tucker was very, very graceful, which was a good speech. It's all a game. He really stressed that. And then, Angela was extra and too much. So, we get to the votes, and everyone was pretty much sad except Chelsea. She, because she did this. Like, she did this. <laughs> she took back control of this house. Um... Tucker mess up. That's the problem with this whole season. A lot of times, people are in control, and they get out the wrong people. So, when the Pentagon was in control, they didn't get out anyone relevant. No offense. No offense. They got out, like, Kenny, who wanted to leave already. Lisa, who wasn't targeting any of them. Then Tucker takes control, and he didn't... He got out Brooklyn. Brooklyn hasn't won anything. Like, you say she can talk... She hasn't won anything. You kept Quinn in the house. You kept Chelsea in the house. You think they, they're they not a good mind? They are. They're good minds. But they are good minds who actually win. <laughs> Brooklyn hasn't won. And so, and I was just, I don't know. It's, it's weird. When I make these videos, I feel like every time I make a Big Brother video, my chances of being on the show just go down. Down. Because I don't think there's ever been a house. Oh, actually, Cliff. Cliff from Big Brother 21, he did videos on Big Brother and he got on the show. I think. Cliff Notes, remember him? But anyway, uh, Joseph, Rubina, and Kimo voted for Tucker to stay. Everybody else voted Tucker out. Tucker left. It was a lot of cries. A lot of cries for Tucker. Th this show will not be the same without him. Like, this is... It was a sad, and I'm not gonna lie, I actually shed a tear with him when he, I actually shed a tear, but I shared a tear way after. It was uh, when he talked about Rubina, and th that part is what actually kind of made me tear up because he teared up, I ain't gonna lie. He made out with Rubina, they go outside, uh, his interview was, it was good, nothing like super special. We didn't get to see his goodbye messages either, um, he just stressed that everything was a game and... He's all right. Julie did ask him about AI Arena, and he said that he did it wrong, and it made so much sense to me because I was like, he just looked like he was just going so slow. It just, but he said that he was putting the puzzle pieces on the wrong way, so he was never gonna win that. Angela would beat him because he was doing it wrong, and she she was like, I asked you if you understood the rules, and he was like, I know, and he you remember last time he was screaming, I love puzzles. So it's like, you know. Did, did he win twice AI Arena? Did he win the I Love Puzzles one? And did he win the the ball one with Kenny? Was that two different AI arenas? I don't remember. But anyway, he will be missed. And he actually is going home because I had a I had a little theory that the him and the next two people evicted were all gonna be sequestered. And then they were going to do a battle back with those three. And the other two that lost the battle back will go home. And the other one will go back into the house. And then we have a seven-person jury. That's what I was predicting, but that didn't happen. You always can tell based on what Julie says. And if Julie gives away any information from in the house, you know the jury has not started yet. So he actually is going home. Shouts out Tucker. He will be missed. The show will not be the same. She asked about Rubina, and that's when he broke down, started crying. It was really sweet to see, and he, like, 
I was gonna say he will be missed. I do think he was kind of mean sometimes, like to Cedric, mainly to Cedric. Yeah, mainly just to Cedric, but he'll be missed. Who am I rooting for to win HOH? Because now, let me just say, in this house, the like I already said, the one problem where people are not getting out the right people weren't getting out the right people when they were in charge. Now Tucker's gone. I don't know who who's in an alliance. I don't know where Quinn stands. Is he more cool with Chelsea and and Cam as the Pentagon, or is he more cool with the Visionaries with T -mo, T Core and Chemo, T Core and Chemo and Rubina? That's a trio. But now they lost their fuck. I'm sorry. They lost their main guy, the guy that was winning challenges for them, McKenzie. I'm actually starting to like a lot because she's doing all this with no alliance. She won the AI arena. I don't know if I even said that, but she's doing all this without an alliance. I don't really like Leah because I don't really know what she's doing, uh, but I do like Mackenzie. So <laughs> my favorite of the house right now, I guess it's Joe. I like Joseph. Joseph is cool. And my least favorite is Angela. I'm ready for her to go now. I'm really ready for her to go. Uh, I'm rooting for Joseph to win HOH. And but then I don't want him to use his HOH to get Angela out. I kind of want him to use it to get Chelsea out. Because she's the main person. She's Tyler from Big Brother 20 at this point, in my opinion. But, alright guys, that's it. Be sure to leave this video a like, comment, subscribe, share it on all four on social media. Let's chat, let's keep talking, and until next time, I will catch y'all later.